Right now to say some words of congratulation, I'd like to call another icon in his own right. You know, for those of us who have been privileged, for those of us who have been privileged to be part of the media in what other, in what uh, sphere or role we have played, whether it's the print media or the talk media, we definitely have considered ourselves as being lucky. And one person who has created a magnanimous impression amongst the listenership of the Eastern Caribbean in the days when most islands in the Caribbean had just one or two radio stations. He created a following amongst Trinidad, Tobago, the Windwards, the Leeward Islands, Barbados, and what have you, with a morning show that is unheralded because of the class that he presented. And I can talk about that because as a child in Grenada, as a child in Grenada growing up in my home, Dave Elcock in the morning was part of our daily diet. So I grew up with Elcock in the morning. All right, with Granny and all of the characters that he presented in the morning. By him saying that no matter who you went to bed with in the night, you must wake up with Elcock in the morning. <laughs> A man who has become a friend of the artists of the Caribbean, he has introduced all of the artists that you can think of. Many a Calypso has been composed with his name being involved in it because of who he is and the reputation that he has developed because of his program. I want us to give a rousing welcome as he give congratulations to someone he knows very well. The one and only, the supreme radio announcer, Dave Elcock. Thank you very much, Mr. Master of Ceremonies, distinguished guests, which you all are. I am told the Consul General of the TNT may be with us. Uh, am I right? No? No? Okay. But you're, you're all distinguished guests, and I'm pleased to be here. Good evening, and welcome on behalf of Derek Rento and his promotions uh, company. Very hardworking, very active man, and uh, I too was tardy, and he had that stern look on his face when I came in, so I had to apologize profusely, and I do again publicly. Thank you, Derek. Well, I have the honor of being seated to the lady in the, the red top, Red Hat, and uh, she's a lady we honor today, and Derek has given me the privilege of uh, welcoming, of congratulating her on this very auspicious occasion. It is indeed my distinct honor to offer, on behalf of us all, heartfelt congratulations to our beloved and greatly admired honoree and lady of the evening, Ms. MacArthur Lewis, known universally as the inimitable and indomitable Queen of Calypso, Calypso Rose. Born a few decades ago in Bethel, Tobago, she has long been accepted as Tobago and Trinidad's gift to the world. You see which one I put first? Tobago and Trinidad's gift to the world of not only Calypso, grand as that is, but to entertainment, as anyone who has ever seen her command the stage will happily attest. To do full justice to her lengthy, internationally acclaimed, and still undiminished career will require much more time than I've been afforded. So allow me to summarize here as concisely as possible. At age 15, MacArthur started composing, turned professional at 24, and to date has crafted over 800 compositions and recorded more than 20 successful albums. Her first Calypso, would you believe, was birthed back in 1955. Let me see if I can do some quick maths. 59 years ago, as a teenager, after she, she witnessed, of all things, a man stealing the glasses of a woman's face in the Quasi in San Juan. I did my research, Rose. <laughs> in the Quasi. So in the song, she advised her fellow Tobagonians 
to remain over there in, this, in Sweet Tobago because Trinidad was no place for them. <laughs> her first sobriquet of choice was Crusoe Kid, I found out, until her present moniker, Calypso Rose, was gifted to her by a mighty spoiler, spoiler, along with the great Kaiser composer, better known as Piggy, and a gentleman nicknamed Spike. And he must have been pretty sharp. Performing beyond Trinidad and Tobago for the first time in 1963, Rose won countless fans from Grenada to St. Thomas, copying the twin Calypso and Road March titles in St. Thomas with her first recording, Cooperation. Three years later, in 1966, her red-hot party pleaser, Fire in the Wire, grabbed the honor of becoming the first Calypso ever to be performed two years in a row, 1966 and 67, in Trinidad and Tobago Carnival. I well remember that. Streaking ahead in the mid-1970s, Rose not only captured the Calypso Queen honors over five consecutive years, from 1972 through 76, she also scored mega hits with Constable Rose and Do Them Back, which became her first gold-selling record. In 1977 came another conquest when Rose became the first female to win Trinidad and Tobago's Road March competition with a tantalizing Give More Tempo, then repeated that feat in 78 with Kamla Jam. In that year, too, our smiling honoree beat back all comers to become the first woman ever to win the National Calypso Contest, which up to then was known as the Calypso King Contest, effecting the change to its current title from Calypso King to Calypso Monarch in her honor. So she created history in Calypso. I could go on, ladies and gentlemen, but I'd have to overstay my welcome, and I can't do that. So I'll just end with this glowing reference to the indomitable spirit with which God has blessed this remarkable lady we lionize today, courtesy of our University of the West Indies as Dr. MacArthur Lewis. On two separate occasions, dating back to the mid-90s, with the Almighty's help, she beat back that dreaded enemy, cancer, and is today one of its very grateful survivors. Between 19... Yeah, that, that's really wonderful. Thank God. Between... You know, I'm lionizing you. Between 1978 and now, Calypso Rose has received 23 achievement awards, including her latest, the UE Doctorate, which has occasioned this grand and joyful event today. So, Dr. Lewis, on behalf of all here assembled, also every proud son and daughter of Trinidad and Tobago and the Caribbean, and millions of fans and admirers worldwide, I am overjoyed to say a hearty, a very hearty, congratulations. And I close with this. May the good Lord bless and favor you with the decades more of life, success, accomplishments, and deserved recognition for so wonderfully fulfilling the tasks he appointed you to on the day of your birth. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and warmest wishes from me and my family to you all for a blessed Christmas and the most rewarding and successful 2015 and all the years beyond. Can we have a hip hip hooray for our hooray! Hip hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip hip! Hooray! Hip, hip, hip. Hooray! Thank you kindly. Appreciate it. Have a great evening. Thank you. Thank you very much, Brother Dave. Well appreciated. An icon. And, uh, you know, in the days back then in the 70s and thing, you know, were you on 610 Radio or Radio Trinidad? You were on um, Barbados, VOB. Uh, CBC and Barbados, what have you. These were the kind of stations that the people in the small islands, the Wind Ones and the Leeward Islands, basically gravitated towards outside of the region. Dave Elcock, Dave, uh, um, Phil Simmons and Brother Dave. You know, yes. Dave Elcock was the MC. Well, yeah, 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 right, right, there you go, yeah, right. You, you, you see what I mean? Nobody called my name, you know, guys. 